I'm gonna give you 13 reasons why you should start meditating today. Now, I gotta be honest with you. I'm gonna make this video for selfish reasons. The reason being is I know that when people meditate more, they're just more calm, more peaceful, and live in a more state of equanimity. And I think we need more of that in the world. I wanna walk around, I wanna go to the grocery store and be around more peaceful, happy people. So I want you to meditate, I want your brother to meditate, I want your mother to meditate, I want your best friend to meditate. I think we should all do it just for a little bit each day to make our lives more peaceful and happy. So my name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master Ep. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, I help people improve their mindset through meditation, mindfulness, and all types of modalities to make your life better. So let's get into reason number one. Reason number one is one that you probably associate quite a bit with meditation, and that is being able to reduce the amount of stress and anxiety you feel. Now, I'm talking about this first because it probably is the one that's most common sense. You've heard it before. The more you meditate, the less stressed and anxious you're gonna feel. Well, there's a lot of research backing this, and I just really hope that you, it hits home today when you hear it in this video because research has proven that consistent meditation can cut down the anxiety you feel by up to 40%. So if you could feel almost half as anxious as you usually do, why not invest in just a few minutes of meditation every day? Reason number two, if you are struggling with depression or just the feelings of consistent sadness or feeling bored or feeling uninspired, meditation is a great way to counteract this. And instead of just popping more prescription pills, which I know most doctors prescribe, especially in the US, meditation is a great way to overcome depression in a natural way and it's much more effective than prescription pills. Reason number three, if you ever deal with headaches, meditation Meditation is a great way to relieve tension in your head. So next time you get a headache, go do some meditation and you can be able to relieve that tension without having to even pop any ibuprofen. Reason number four is because you're gonna become more likable. And the reason being is because meditation just makes you more kinder and just nicer to be around. So when you're kinder, obviously you're gonna be thrown off that good vibes, those good energy, and people are gonna to wanna to be around you more. And so this is one that's also very much common sense. Of course, people wanna be around more positive people. And the more you meditate, the more kind you become, the more positive you are, the more people are gonna to wanna to be in your circle. Reason number five, meditation can actually make you smarter and it can do so in a number of ways. Two ways that are proven most in research is that it can improve your memory, number one, and number two, it can help cut down on distracting thought. So if you're trying to focus on something, your mind keeps on getting thrown into the future about something you have to do or stressed about something that happened in the past, meditation is really good for just keeping you present and focused here and now. Reason number six, meditation has been shown to help you avoid getting sick. And even when you do get sick, it will cut down the amount of time that you are sick. Now, the research I'm talking about mostly points to colds, you know, when you have a cough or runny nose, things like that, not really serious sickness. We can talk about that later. Meditation, I think, can definitely help with that as well. But this research that has been backed up is more relating to your common cold. Reason number seven, it's gonna improve your relationships. And it's gonna do so because you're gonna become less reactive now most of us in our intimate relationships we allow ourselves to you know just kind of lose our shit sometimes <laughs> it's just a natural thing to do if you're married to someone or if you're in a family and you're all living under one roof you might just be more reactive to the people who are closest to you because you're more comfortable with them well if you meditate consistently you become less reactive more calm so you're more in that observer perspective so someone says something that usually you might snap back at them instead you're like huh I notice how that makes me a little bit upset, but there's no reason for me to snap at this person. Instead, I can just sit here in the moment, acknowledge it, and then respond accordingly. Reason number eight, it improves your heart health. Now there's some research showing that people with heart disease were less likely to have heart attacks, strokes, and even die when they meditate consistently. So if you're someone who deals with that or have someone close to you who's dealing with heart disease, make sure they're meditating. And if it's you, make sure you start meditating today. Reason number nine, meditation can improve your sleep quality. Now it's gonna help you get to sleep, fall asleep, and then also stay asleep and have more high quality sleep throughout the whole night. And if you want help with this, I have a guided meditation to help you fall asleep. It's right up there. 
Reason number 10, you're gonna get more aha moments, more creativity. And the reason being is because normally we walk around in our waking mind, which is our conscious mind, and we really don't have a lot of memory or bandwidth within this conscious mind. But if we can get access to that subconscious mind, we have access to unlimited creativity and all those aha moments where like, oh, that's right, that's the thing I should be doing right now. Ooh, that's the idea I've been looking for. So if you meditate more consistently, you get more creative, you have more of those moments, and it just happens because you have a better relationship with your subconscious mind, which is what you get access to when you meditate consistently. Reason number 11, meditation is gonna help you binge eat less. And so a lot of people go to food when they're emotional. They're like, I don't feel good, I need to eat a box of cookies. And meditation is good for two reasons. Number one, it just improves your awareness, your self-awareness. So you aren't just reactively going and binge eating. Number two, it actually just makes you feel better. So you feel like you don't need to go externally to fulfill yourself. You're more fulfilled inside. So you don't need the cookies to make you feel good inside because meditation makes you feel good inside. Reason number 12, you're gonna feel less pain. There's some research that shows that you become more tolerant to pain when you meditate more consistently. Now, I don't know all the science of how to explain this to you. I just know that I read it in a research study uh, and now I'm sharing with you. And speaking of research studies, all these different studies I'm talking about here have been linked up in the description below. This cool uh, website called Greatest actually went and found all this research and put it together. And now I'm making it in video format so you can enjoy it here. Reason number 13, which I believe is the most important reason for meditating is that you get the ability to create your dream life and your dream body. So it is my fundamental belief that through training our subconscious mind, through tools like meditation, we're able to not only change the body chemistry we have, so our biology, but also the results we're creating in our life. And so there's many ways to do this. And if you'd like help with this specifically, I highly recommend you check out this playlist where I talk about unleashing your full potential because I get into the nuts and bolts of how to do that there. And really, the more you meditate, the more you have access to the subconscious, the more you have access to your supercomputer, the faster you can start to see the results you want in your life. So if you wanna get started, start building some momentum, I highly recommend checking out my free seven-day meditation experience. You can go ahead and get on my email list and get access to that by clicking the link in the description below, entering your email, and I'll send it over to you. And what I have actually is two things that are pretty cool. Number one, a free meditation app that's gonna give you the meditations for those seven days. Number two, a community of like-minded people who are all trying to be the best versions of themselves. So you can get in there, talk about your experience with meditation, get some tips from me personally, and kind of start to build that momentum. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope this was impactful. Hopefully you will start your practice. I hope you do. I really enjoy it. It's been a hugely impactful part of my life and that's why I'm sharing it now with you. So uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, drop any comments or questions down below and I'll catch you in the next video.